Now it's time to install the wire. Again, we've selected 48 inch, two by two, yard garden and kennel. First, first you want to attach the, the product using a small staple, three quarter inch long staple, just to kind of uh, tack the product up, hold it in place and get your vertical straight. Unroll the wire to your first pulling point. The reason we just tack the wire on with the staple is because we're going to apply fascia boards to each one of the line posts and corner posts. These are treated one by fours. And the advantage of the fascia board is a couple of things. One, we're sandwiching the wire between two pieces of wood. Secondly, if your dog jumps up on the fence, they're not pushing on the staples, they're actually pushing on this whole board. So it makes a nice finish. It's gonna make the fence very secure for your animals. Large dogs jumping up on the fence. And again, using decking screws to attach this board, making sure it's firm, cinching it down. So we're gonna hold this wire in place when we go to pull it. You'll notice this fascia board doesn't go all the way to the top of the post. We plan on having another fascia board across the top. Next, it's time to build a dummy brace. We've elected not to pull off a pickup truck, a tractor, or anything artificial. Take a four by four by eight foot long, lay it on the ground. Dig a hole, drop a four by four by eight foot in that hole, just loosely. Next, we're gonna drill a small hole into the corner post of the dog kennel just to put a pin or a, or a big spike in something temporary to use uh, to hold this dummy brace cross member up. Slide the dummy brace post onto the cross member. And just tap the pin or spike in. Just anything to hold this cross member up is, is the purpose of this. Next, take the cross member, slide it over the pin that you have sticking in your corner post. Next, we're going to shim this post up just to keep it from wobbling back and forth too much because, again, this is temporary. Because this will all come down and get moved to the next pulling point. Now you'll need to install your fence stretcher. We've elected to use two 2x4s two bolted together. This makes for a nice fence stretcher, very, very economical. And if you if you use a four to five three inch diameter bolts, it's gonna hold this wire really nicely in this in this stretcher, keep anything from slipping. Next we attach some chains. And we're gonna put a chain at the top and one at the bottom. And we're gonna install a come along one at the top. The great thing about having one at the top and one at the bottom is that if you need to adjust the fence, you can independently of the top or the bottom instead of just having one, one pull point. And now you can see with the dummy brace that this force that I'm applying with the come alongs is being pushed back into the dog kennel itself. Once we get the wire tight, go back and just put a small staple in at the, at the desired height making sure that the clearance is, is uh, it's, the wire is off the ground, but you don't want too much. And now it's time to install the fascia board on the front. Do this similar to the top rail. We're using one by sixes treated. And it makes a great finish look. With the top board and the fascia board, uh, you know that this, this is gonna be a very secure kennel and it's gonna look good when we get done with it. After you've installed all the front fascia boards, it's time to install the fascias for the posts. Again, this will secure the wire to the post to help keeping your dog from pushing the wire. After you've secured one side of the fence, you'll need to take your dummy brace apart and move it to the next side. You notice we didn't cut the wire. We're actually going to take the wire around the corner, 
and pull it down the next fence line. So everything here with the dummy brace again was temporary. Uh, just pull things out of, out of the ground, throw them, throw them into your uh, back of the truck or the wheelbarrow, and we're going to move things down to the next corner. Here just unrolling the fence again. Uh, like we said, we, we didn't cut it. We're just going to continue with it to the next pull. Here we're going to do the same thing we did on the first one. Find the distance of our dummy brace. Dig a hole. Once we've done that and we've pulled the wire, we go back and install the front fascia boards. After you've got the fascia boards installed, it's a good idea to put finishing nails between the front fascia board and the top rail. It's also a good idea to affix the back of the front fascia board to the wire using poultry staples. Another idea, you may want to fasten the bottom of the fence using landscaping staples, as shown here. You could also use another front fascia board on the bottom to add more security to your kennel system. Next on the gate, you just want to make sure that you set the gate as close as you can to the ground. Here we're using some wooden blocks to, to determine that height. You want to mark uh, for the hinges that are going to be installed into the post. As far as the height, here we're finding the, the vertical uh, level using a plumb bob. So when the gate swings, it swings evenly. Then we're just going to take a drill and, and get a starter hole for these leg uh, hinges that are going to be screwed into the post. Install the leg hinges, one on the top and one on the bottom. They actually just twist in. And then set your gate. Make sure it's level. Check to make sure it swings. Clearance on the ground's good. And there you have it. Your dog will be safe and secure with Red Brand Yard Guard and Kennel. We hope that the techniques that we showed you today are beneficial in your fence construction project. The tools we use today can be found at your local ag supply store or on our website. Also, for a list of local Red Brand dealers, log on to redbrand.com.